Hello family and thank you for coming back to our channel Dale Chanel's 48th World with the Family Affair. I'm coming in at 9.51 p.m. on this lovely rainy cold damp uh, March 23rd Monday night evening or however you're seeing it. It might be morning or in the afternoon when you're getting this video. But blessings to you all. Okay. But I'm just checking in on y'all, trying to let y'all know what's going up here, what's down in the south, what's in Atlanta, Georgia, DeKalb County where I reside, and what's going on with our state of mind as well as our state period when it's concerning this coronavirus. All right, did y'all hear y'all president tonight? He my president too. I ain't vote for him, but it just is what it is, okay? Gotta give him his props. But the president said that he was going to start or it was a trial being placed where they're going to be mixing drugs like HIV medications with z pack which is like something you give for um, it's an antibiotic for strep throat or respiratory infections and stuff of that nature, um, bacteria infections. And uh, they're going to be mixing that and trying to make that as a possible antidote or cure for the coronavirus. And I was like, what? I don't have HIV. Okay. I don't have. I don't have HIV. <laughs> so why in the hell would you be trying to give me a pill or inject me with HIV medications that most HIV or AIDS patients take along with the Z-Pack with antibiotics. I'm like, uh, what two don't go together? All right. And you're not using me as an experiment over here and make me look like a mutant as time goes on. Or like they say with certain medications, it could give you a heart attack. And with my immune system, and it could be a great immune system, which, you know, I have my own medical uh, history of uh, issues. So I'm not like one of your poster childs of somebody to be doing trial and error on. Okay. I'm seasoned and, you know, you got to be delicate with me. But just say a healthy 20-something, 30-something uh, 30 year, uh, 30 something year old person in the picture perfect health realm and they caught this coronavirus or whatever and they want to inject or make you take some oral medication that's given to hiv aids patients uh and then throw some z-pack in now for us antibiotics chasing it all together and it's supposed to provide some type of safety cure for the coronavirus like have the president and his party or his team on lost their ever loving mind child when he said that i let him talk a little longer and then i turned off the television and called my biological family where i have some uh, nurses in the family and you know other medical type personnel and they said yeah they heard that shit and they don't know where he going with it they said that it it was other medical people coming in after him saying that he didn't know what the hell he was talking about pretty much i'm like god what in the world have we gotten ourselves into or have they gotten us into i should say but i just thought i'll just break that down to y'all to see if y'all were saying the same thing i saw and what y'all feel about that you're a perfectly normal healthy person and they want to try this concoction of a drug therapy i just want to know y'all feelings about it because y'all already know my feelings about it because i just told you okay just let me die, in other words. I told my mom and them that and my daughter, just let me die before you inject me with some medication of some diseases that I don't have. Okay? Mm -mm. No. Let's see somebody else get tested on. And now I tell you, they're going to test it on people with already worse immune systems, the seasoned folks, just like in their 70s and 80s. They may go as low as the fittest. I don't know. As test trial dummies. I'm like, mm mm, this ain't gonna work for me. It's not working for me, guys. It's not working for me. But basically, the same old, same old has been going on here in Atlanta, Georgia. Like I said, I still in the Cab County, but I go out through all the whole counties to shop and partake of other interactions of, you know, interacting with people and doing my shopping on the weekend. I just don't stay in the Cab County and shop in the Cab County. I'll be in Tucker, Georgia. I'll be in Elwood, Georgia, Stockbridge, Georgia, 
Riverdale, Georgia. And I mean, it's just so many, many little counties that I travel into. But anyway, they gave us a, uh, they declared a state of emergency today in my neck of the woods. Or really, that's going to be starting uh, tomorrow, March 24th, they said. Oh, Sean, so this is March 24th they're supposed to enact it. Uh-huh. But uh, me and my daughter, well, I was at work at the time when this uh, broadcasting came out, but it actually came out on my uh, media feed because I have a lot of different uh, trending topics of sources, informational sources uh, coming to my phone from, like, the local TV stations here in Atlanta. Elijah! Elijah, hush it up! Hush! Talk about all that mess. Sit down! Okay. He was trying to narrate or I don't know what the hell he was doing. He's barking at somebody, something outside. I don't know. You know, they have that keen eyesight as well as hearing and everything. He picks up on his radar. Come at him. He called himself want to fuss about it. But anyway, if I just go on and read it to you all. It was brought out today on um, around 12, 36 p.m. It was raining today, y'all. It was awful outside. And I was at work. Oh, just terrible. Okay, because I want to be at home and sleep. Because I sleep so good when it's rainy and cool. Mm, mm, mm. But anyway, aside from that, it says DeKalb County, Georgia has declared a state of emergency in response to the coronavirus pandemic. The emergency declaration asks all residents to follow a voluntary curfew from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. Excluding necessary travel to and from work to the doctor or to buy food. Families are asked to, uh, asked to shelter in place as much as possible. All public gatherings of 10 or more are prohibited. Meaning we can't do that, y'all. Now, where you going to go where you have 10, 10 or less people? I ain't even been in a grocery store. And I had more than that around me, okay? But I'm just saying. I don't know where they're coming up with this mess. But anyway, it says dining services at restaurants, brewers, and bars is prohibited. But they can still sell takeout orders and alcohol to go. And I was having this discussion with my family on Sunday when we were riding around trying to find some meat. Now, I thought drinking and driving was illegal. Now, do you know we already have people in their cars that eat as they drive along? And I ain't going to lie, I'm one of them people. If I'm hungry and I don't stop at this favorite wing spot or burger place that I like, I'm going to be drink, uh, eating and driving. You know what I'm saying? I know it ain't right, but it just is what I do. I don't take both hands off the wheel and try to eat. It's be one on the hand, one on nine o'clock, all right, where I can get to the nine or 15 position on the stern wheel if I had to. But nine times out of ten, I drive with nine. Or sometimes I drive at twelve, twelve o'clock. You know what I'm saying? While my other hand is free. And you know, of course, I got a sling I'm wearing for a while. So I, I'm nine and twelve doing it one handed anyway. Okay. But anyway, I thought drinking was against the law. Now, you know, in the world, when we drink, I mean, when we eat it, we got to uh, wash it down with something. Okay. So who's to say when these people go pick up their little munch and brunch is what I like to call it. A brunch and munch. Uh, you know, they're going to be swishing it down with some a a a a alcohol. So I'm like, you, you're encouraging us to drink? What kind of world are we turning into? Because uh, that's why we have Mothers Against Drunk Driving, that mad or so, or organization. You know what I'm saying? So you're saying we can take our food. And we could take some liquor to go. Okay, I never heard of that. But I guess with this change or facing this new pandemic we're going through, I guess some of the minds have left the building of clear thinking heads. Okay. But anyway, I just had to do that sidebar. It goes on to say bowling alleys, gyms, fitness centers, nail salons, spas, beauty salons, and other personal grooming establishments are limited to 10 people. Funerals are also limited to 10 people. I'll outdoor playgrounds or clothes oh okay for the kids that's gonna be pretty pretty bad but where are you gonna go spa salons personal grooming you know entities or establishments they're gonna have 10 or less people okay so that kind of made me and my mom and my daughter kind of mad because um yeah we all got natural hair, and definitely me and my daughter's hair have grown, and I need to, well, both of us need to be retwisted, but I ain't gonna say we looking a hot mess, but we not feeling ourselves, okay? <laughs> Child, Lord, when a woman can't get groomed, when a woman can't get groomed and do her aesthetic beauty, beauty uh, makeup stuff, 
the little things that we just call must do's like getting our nails done getting our hair done getting our face done you know whatever whatever we do as a routine when it comes in and it's interrupted we have a fit okay but like i told my daughter and my mom it's just a new way of living these days a new way of living we might have to just look and embrace you know what i'm saying but in other words they're trying to say they want everyone or everyone is asked to keep six feet apart okay starting tomorrow march 24th the county will put a um, moratorium on evictions and terminations of water services for homes or businesses they are also asking for rental and mortgage companies to give residents extra time to make payments i guess these are for the ones that are in between jobs or maybe they have jobs and they're losing money because they were asked to stay off their jobs or uh basically how we say they're taking their rent money or whatever to provide food money for their families because you know it's it definitely is a drought in the meat section i'm telling you it's a definitely a drought out there people but uh going back to the article it says um the order also calls on businesses to provide employees with the means and equipment to work from home and develop strategies to redirect the workforce to help with the growing crises. Frontline workers who can't work from home, which includes watershed, sanitation, 911, police stations, fire, or sher sheriffs, medical examiners, roads and drainage employees, seniors, center food workers park workers people who work for DeKalb peach street airport we get their regular salary plus 50 percent administration pay uh pay and 50 percent comp time and that's good that's good 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 for them but it's almost like what is the world or the leaders of the world telling us they're saying one thing but then they're saying the the companies you work for are saying a different thing they're saying to allow us to stay home or work from home but yet when you talk to these entities of the business and your supervisors and, and managers that you report to they're telling you other things so it, it's just very disheartening at times when you want to do the right thing and they say they want to do the right thing but it don't pretty much mesh up together it's almost like okay you got to go to work or they'll find someone to replace you but in the grand scheme of things you got the president up there and you got the uh the healthcare workers the big gurus or gurus of health and human resources telling you to stay safe uh do safe distancing from family members as um well as um people you don't know uh well practices practice safe distancing and then you know stay from your job uh for at least two weeks or whatnot and then you don't have these options you want to comply but uh your employer don't want to comply with you so i don't know we just have to stay prayed up or however you get into your mental psyche and just you know pretty much tell you to calm down and everything's gonna be okay and all this and that and third i suggest y'all practice that very well because um in my situation i have to have someone to actually be sick with the coronavirus for them to deem it uh you know a barrier for the rest of the workers not to get it and then we can work at home and i kind of i work in isolation in a sense what i do in my um practice but uh you know i do have people come up to me that want to you know ask questions and stuff like that that are definitely have direct contact with uh patients and on certain days i do or on a certain day i do have patient contact but it's like okay i'm a very open and hands-on person i love to get hugs and stuff like that and i love to shake hands so we know we can't do that because of safety reasons now uh but it's a part of my culture you know i love those things but um it's just like you don't know you have some people that have taken the break of having to be off for two weeks no problem and the jobs paid them and then you have the ones that don't haven't taken that off and then the president was talking tonight about he's trying to get the people that's already been off for two weeks or more to back to work and i'm like now wait a minute you integrating p 
people that had the coronavirus, they don't got somewhat cured or had their incubational period. You bringing them back and exposing them to people that haven't had the corona coronavirus or haven't had the test to say whether or not they have it. What kind of mess is that? What kind of mess is that? It's just like you getting the baby ready for the bath water, but you don't give the baby the bath. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand these rules and regulations, child. I really don't. I'm like, because me, a total shutdown is like you shut shit down. You know, except for the emergency room uh, entities like that. But other than that, no, you shut shit down for a whole week or two weeks. Well, two weeks, I think they say. And you don't let nobody do nothing other than going to buy food or whatever. I haven't had to go to the doctor for an emergency reason or whatnot. Other than this, you stay in in the house, okay? Why can't we do like China? They shut shit down. Italy, they shut shit down, Okay. Ain't nobody going nowhere. You're going to be, be in an incubational type situation for two weeks. Get with it. Got it. Good. Okay. Then we'll come back after two weeks and we'll check the status. And then make a kit available to be able to let people be tested uh, to see where we are with this coronavirus thing. There's no way in the world to me that we should not have had some type of test kits developed. Uh, for this type of scenario with all the different viruses we have out there. I mean, it wouldn't be one that's totally streamed for this, but close to it. You know what I'm saying? Like pregnancy tests. How long they've been out there? Okay. So I know they got some viruses tests that they can give everybody uh, to, be able to be able to harness this thing and see how many people are definitely affected and they say the cab have eight people affected i'm sure it's higher than that but they're gonna give us what they give us you know what i'm saying so i just wanted to catch up with you all tell y'all what's going on in my neck of the woods and that yes we still have people out there fighting over water toilet tissue meats all of that honey the ugliness is coming out okay but I'm dealing with it as best I can. As you know, I will do. I make it do what it do. And um, that's all I have for this particular video. Only thing I could say to all of you all is to definitely be do, do your due diligence and take care of each other and, and yourself especially. Especially with allergy season being upon us with all. If anybody suffers such as myself with allergies, but I suffer all year round. I'm allergic to the pollens, the trees, uh, the different oaks grasses all that stuff and then when fall come and winter I'm, I'm allergic to the mold so i got it all year round i'll be sniffing and, and, and sneezing and carrying on and just having congestion in my head or whatnot but you really just don't know if you're suffering from a plain cold allergies or the coronavirus i mean all of them mimic to a certain degree the coronavirus um uh, but it is what it is maybe Many blessings and prosperity and, and good health run for all my family affair members over here. And just do your due diligence and, and um, do what you can and what you feel is right for yourself. Um, when it comes to staying away from people that are coughing all the time out there. Because even in my job, we still have people coughing. You know, don't cover their mouth, sneezing, don't cover their mouth. And it's just a mess. It's like, okay, damn, do y'all look at TV? Do y'all know what's going on out there? Or y'all, do y'all just give a damn? You know what I'm saying? So, like I always tell my family, I think we all have it. It's just being dormant in us. And it just hadn't reacted. Or we haven't had too much of a breakdown in our immune system for us to pretty much... Uh, be in a serious state with it but i think it's airborne they're gonna tell us what they want to tell us but we who see we who hear we gotta just have ask for discernment and go govern our environmental space as well as our uh safe havens you know and definitely practice good hand washing techniques 20 seconds under some fairly hot water with some good soap suds soap suds going on okay that's the major defense of all of this and of course when you're outside 
wear your uh, mask if you have any and it helps with uh being out there in the allergy season as well you don't take in all that pollen residue that comes on if you don't know what i'm talking about that film that bees on the sidewalks your houses your cars that green line uh substance that's the uh, stuff that can definitely irritate your immune system as well as your breathing as well so be careful with that and wear gloves. You know, when you're out there grocery shopping or whatnot, wear them gloves. Okay? You know, it's some nasty folks up in here. Hell, even when you're touching them knobs on them elevators, when you go to the doctor's offices or businesses and you have to go take the elevator, girl, do that. If you ain't got gloves on, do it with, you know, your clothing, you know, your jacket or something. And watch that shit when you get home. Or if you definitely have some hand sanitizer, Hell, spray the uh, spray the uh, the knobs, you know, the buttons with the hand sanitizer. Then touch it. You know what I'm saying? You just have to be safe out there, guys. You just have to be safe. But be blessed. I'll take uh, take care of yourselves, and I will see y'all next video. Okay, for something funny, something uplifting, getting into somebody else like we like to do. Okay. All right. Oh, I wouldn't say like to do, but we just seem like we need to give our opinion on certain things. You know how we are, family. We don't mean no harm. We're just talking shit and just talking about people and how they acted on our television screen. You know, that's all. All right, guys. Be blessed. I'll see y'all next video.